So good morning, class. <clears throat> Welcome to this um, first um, community engagement we are having this day. So uh, I welcome every one of you. Uh, you would have seen that um, I had created a community group for all of us. That is all students of um, ENT 301, uh, 302 rather, and all stream two students so that we can all engage and interact together. So far, uh, we have one thing or the other to do with um, digital marketing and um, website design so that we can all benefit. And for this particular class today, this morning, is a large class comprising of all the community members. That is all ENT 302 students, uh, all stream two students as well. And for the ENT 302 students, uh, that includes um, all students of uh, Mr. Belu. I posted information to you that um, all students of Mr. Belu have been officially reassigned to me. I was communicated yesterday by the ENT directorate. So if you're a student or you know student of ENT 302, uh, previously assigned to Mr. Belu, alert them that um, they have now been reassigned to uh, my group so that um, we can all um, benefit and then come up. So uh, as a background for the ENT 302 students, for the stream two students, uh, I have interacted with us at least no matter how basic it is on the introduction to HTML. And my intention for every one of us is that by the end of this course or this um, session, we should be able to edit, we should be able to um, edit a one page website for every one of us. We should be able to edit a one page website. Um, that is the goal, but we want to start off with at least some rudiments. Of course, I will go through uh, some introduction once again, and then we can start it up. So I just give us another two minutes to call up on our, our friends, our colleagues that we are starting up now. So if you still have your friends, if you have your colleagues that are yet to join, irrespective of the group they belong to, please quickly alert them that the class have started. The class have started. The class have started. The class have started. So I give you about two minutes. So by 10.45, I, I just um, fire on again. You're all welcome this morning. So can I take feedback? If, there any, if there's any feedback within the two minutes before I start up officially again, or I continue rather, we have started the class. Any feedback, you can just unmute yourself and, and, and uh, speak. Or you please, um indicates with the um indicates with the um hands up um button you can go under reaction and click on raise and raise your hand so i can acknowledge you then you can speak we have one minute more any feedback before we continue So if there's any other thing, I want to believe that I'm quite audible enough. Am I audible enough? If I'm audible enough, somebody should just indicate, can you all hear me? Very good, very good. All right, I get a response from, okay, all right. So we continue. Well, as at the last class, uh, for whichever category you belong to, I'd introduce us to HTML. And I'm still going to go about the introduction once again now. What is HTML? HTML? If you can't hear anything, I think you need to work on your on your audio. Some of you have not activated your audio. Some of you have not activated your audio. If you can't hear anything, you will need to work on your audio. It's very important. Yes, HTML is hypertext. Uh, let me just mute everybody for now. You can you can communicate via the chat so that uh, we don't disrupt the class. HTML is hypertext 
markup language. Hypertext markup language. Hypertext markup language. And I let me just quickly see if I can just, I'll just type it into the test um, button, into the test. Um, and uh, probably just see if I can just spin it. Okay. So I just posted it here. Hypertext markup language. If you can't hear, you need to activate your audio, the audio of your device to hear. People can hear. I've gotten feedback that they can hear. So you, if you can't hear, you need to check the audio of your of the device you're using. So to continue, uh, we had said that the HTML is a standard markup language, is a standard language for creating web pages. HTML is a standard uh, markup language for creating web pages. Is a standard markup language for creating web pages. And of course, the HTML also it describes the structure of a web page. The HTML describes the structure of a web page. And of course, I did mention that the HTML consists of uh, several elements. It consists of several elements. And I think I remember that I gave you uh, a link. I gave you a link on the W3 schools that listed all the different elements of the HTML, which I said you should familiarize yourself with, go through all the different elements and, uh, and see and learn them, just learn them, just familiarize us with the, with the basic ones there. Of course, they are quite much, uh, but you can do well to help yourself familiarize yourself with some of the elements therein. And definitely the elements, of HTML, that is the HTML element, they communicate, they tell the web browsers how to display the content. The HTML element, they tell the web browsers how to display the content. And you may ask, what is a web browser? A web browser is the interface that is used to what? To display the content of a web page. A web browser is an interface that is used to display the content of a web file. And there are different examples of web browsers. Of course, the common ones, you have the Chrome browser, the Google Chrome. You have the Mozilla Firefox. You have the Opera. You have the Internet uh, Explorer, which has been uh, depreciated now, of course, to give a, uh, in, uh, to give a way for the Edge, Microsoft Edge. You have the Safari browser. You have the UC browser and several other browsers. I would advise that you get yourself familiarized with about 20 different browsers that are available. 20 different browsers that are available. Familiarize yourself, get to know. 20 different browsers that are available. So to retreat once again, HTML elements, you know, they tell the web browsers how to display the web content. Then HTML elements, you know, they label, you know, uh, the HTML element label, you know, pieces, you know, they, 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 they have different, uh, labels the HTML element have different labels you know several of them and we did mention uh the last class um, with the ENT 302 students uh some of the different labels that exist and how to write those labels how to indicate those labels I, I did mention that to you and maybe for benefit of that uh, especially for those uh that didn't get it let me I'm going to pick up um the I'm going to pick up the the web link, the web link of the different um, elements. I'm going to pick it up. I will post it to the community uh, group. The community group comprises of all students, all students that one way or the other, irrespective of your 
um, of your level or the program that you are in. Um, it shows you are in the same group so that we can all interact together as one. Um, and of course, for this particular uh, um, case, that is for the design, for the editing of the uh, customization of a one-page website, of course, it is very important that everybody, irrespective of the program that you belong to, it is important that you, you partake of this so that we can all be on the same page. It's very important. Uh, let me just quickly get the link that I shared with the END302. I will post it on the on the on the community group so that we can all um, pick it up from there. Probably I can just um, share my screen and then we can speak. We can all speak into it. We can all speak into it. So if you see how some of your colleagues are not yet on this um, call, on this Zoom meeting, please indicate to them, quickly allow them to join the call. And that, that will help everybody. That will help everybody. So we're going through the rudiments. Then after this class, I'm going to share a template. I'm going to share a template uh, a one page template actually of a web page, which we all are going to be required. We are going to, we are, we are required. We are going to you know, edit, we are going to update, we are going to you know, customize just the landing page. We are going to customize the features of the landing page, customize everything there. And then we can take it off from there. And that will be our project for next week. That will be the project for next week. So give me, give me a moment. Let me just go through and see. Give me a moment to see. I think I posted it on. All right, so I am pasting the link on the community page. You can pick it up from there, wherever you are. And then um, we can follow through from we can follow through with this class. Let me go to the page and um, so I'll just share my screen now and Okay. So I, I, I believe that we are all here now. Okay. So, uh, can you all see my screen? I believe you can see my screen now, right? Yes, 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 good, good, good. So, 
Let's start up with uh, once again. I just want to go through. So I will advise you can just open this up on your system as well, so that we can just look at some um, basic um, um, tags of HTML, which you should just get yourself familiar with. So that by the time you are looking at the one page uh, website, the template I'm, I'm sharing with you, at least you'll be familiar with it. And of course, like I said, um, this is also a link that you should keep and you should just go through and then, so that when you are working on any project, if by any means you are not um, uh, aware or you don't know what a particular tag uh, is or what is meant to do, you can quickly just do a checkup on this from here and then we can continue from there. So of course you have the comment. How do you define a comment? You can see this is how to define a comment. You have the, uh, let me just see if I can just annotate. Yes, you have the, uh, the uh, what's it called now? The apostrophe sign and you have the dash dash. Then whatever you have here is what you have to fill in in between as the case may be. Then you end it up with the dash dash and that's, that solves it. You, you get it now. So that is that. Then, uh, of course, of course, apart from that, now you can you can also uh, put in your comment. The reason for comment is it is used to um, you know to delimit or to put information on. Oh, who are these people scattering the old place now? All right, you can all you can use it to um, you know you know put information. For example, you are writing some codes, you are writing some information, and uh, you don't want it to be you don't want to forget uh, what you you are doing. Of course, um, you know that um, you know that you are able to you are able to um, put in some comment. Let's say, for example, you 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 want to define something or you want the particular uh, segment of your particular HTML document to do something. Of course, you can just um, um, you know, put a comment there so that when else you come over there, you can always remember, oh, this is what I did over here. And of course, you're able to remind yourself. Uh, it helps in uh, making your HTML uh, code to be uh, neat. It makes it much more readable. And uh, it, it serves as a way of um, archiving information on your particular code. Then, of course, it helps uh, in managing your code. For example, you may be the one that will start up the project. You may not be the one that will eventually continue that particular page, editing that particular page. Of course, the information there will serve, will really help you to know what the person that typed this there, what the person has done. So. The next one we have is a doc type. Like I said, for every HTML document that you find, for every HTML document that you find, the doc type, this doc type, this thing here, this tag here, is used typically the first tag that you will see on that document. And whenever you see this particular tag, it shows that that particular page or the content therein uh, that particular file is a is an HTML file. That particular file is an HTML file. You, you understand that? That is very, very critical for us to, to, to know. It's an HTML file. So that defines or that becomes the first uh, definition as the case may be, uh, typical definition that you have, physical tag that you have on your HTML file. The next one that you have here, you have the A tag, which is used to uh, represent an hyperlink. An hyperlink, uh, a good example, let me see if I can just um, bring this down so that I can show you what an hyperlink is. Let's stop this. At least you can see, on this page, you can see, once I put my cursor on the A tag, for example, you will notice that um, it brought out, uh, it's showing me um, the website that is linked, that is hyperlinked to this particular thing. Now, if I go to the other ones, you can see it's showing the hyperlink that is the website that is connected 
to this particular A tag. So the A tag is used to hyperlink. We are going to see how this has yeah, this is being used on the HTML file, which I'm just going to open up shortly. You have the ABBR, that is the abbreviation or the acronym tag is used for abbreviating uh, uh, abbreviation. It's used for abbreviation on the HTML file. You have the acronym. Um, you have the address tag, you have the uh, area, article, all these show different thing, the bold, the base, um, all these, the body and all that. They are different. Just get yourself familiar with all these different um, uh, tags accordingly. It's, it's going to really help you if you get yourself familiar with all of them. It's going to really help you. It's going to really help you. So just get familiar. Look at the app. Uh, their uses or what is being used um, to do, then of course, as we continue, we will try our hands on some of them. And of course, you can also try your hands on some of these things on your part. Now, to continue, I told every one of us, irrespective of your group, that um, that you should uh, uh, download an HTML editor. I just want to limit with that. Of course, there are code editors, but because of the of this par, uh, particular class, let me just limit it to the scope of this class and call it HTML editors. These are softwares uh, which you are going to use to edit, you know, to compile your HTML codes together. These are what software which are going to use what to edit, to compile your, that is to aggregate. I don't want to say to type, but maybe for basic user, you can say to type out your HTML code together. And of course, for those of you using the Android phones, I did advise you that you can download your AN Writer. AN Writer is good. Of course, you can use any other one that you are comfortable with, it's just an advice. You can use any other code writer, any other HTML editor that you are comfortable with. You can use any one of them. So whether it is the AN, uh, AN writer or any other one, you can use VS Code accordingly, whichever one is convenient for you. And for the and for the Apple uh, users, uh, so you can use um, HTML and HTML5 um, editor. HTML and HTML5 editors. Of course, there are several other ones that you can use. For those of you using a laptop or a desktop accordingly, you can use Node++, Plus Plus, Node++, Plus Plus, Node++. Plus Plus. They are free source, you can download them. You can download, um, uh, what, in fact, the basic one that you can use, you can use your notepad, which I would not actually advise you to do. There are several other ones that you can also make use of. That, um, that are usable. So I want, I want to believe that by now, um, of course, don't worry, we'll get to the explanation, we'll get to the, how to, the explanation of each of those syntaxes. But of course, you can look up, you can look up this page. Let me just post it on the chat. You can look up this page, you will find the, you will find, you will find, let me just place this for you. I've also pasted it on the community link, the community link where everybody belongs to, I've pasted it there. You can go to this link, you'll find the definition of the different uh, uh, common tags that we are going to make use of. So that is there. Now, I also want to believe that by now, you would have downloaded either EN Writer for Android users, uh, HTML and HTML5 editor for, iOS
Okay, so let me quickly take some feedbacks before we continue. Up to this level, I believe by now you should have installed the your HTML editor. And I've also shared the one page website. So please go ahead and download it. And unzip, you can get uh, different um, applications to unzip a file, WinZip or whichever one you can download on your Play Store uh, or your iOS Store. Download it and unzip this, um, the zip file that I shared with you. Unzip the zip file that I shared with you. Unzip the zip file that I shared with you. And uh, let me quickly take a feedback, then uh, we'll continue from there. So any feedback, if you have a feedback, please just um, indicate by uh, putting up your hands or just indicate there. Or let me see if I can just unmute you so that, but I don't want this place to be rowdy. So you can unmute yourself, just indicate, raise up your hand, I will recognize you, then you can talk. Let's have feedback before we continue. By now, my expectation is by now you are installed your HTML editor. By now you have downloaded the zip file of the one page um, of the one the page website, and then we can continue from there. So any comment, please. Any comment, just raise up your hand or mute yourself and speak. I will I will recognize you. Yes, sir. Sorry, please. Sir, please, I missed the part where you sent the zip file, like it was the HTML editor that, um...
Ah, so sorry, so sorry. I think I missed your comments. Hello? Somebody was making a comment the other time. Hello, somebody made a comment the other time. Are, are you sorted? So, any other feedback before we continue? Any feedback, any feedback, any clarification before we continue? Yes, go ahead. Um, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can. Okay, so please, uh, my question is, I, I think I joined late. So my question is that the uh, template you sent to us, what are we to do about it, sir? Uh, download the template. Uh, download the template. Don't, don't, sir. Don't, sir. Unzip the template. Don't, don't, sir. Then don't. install your HTML editor. All those, all those are done. I've done that already. Uh, so that's, that's, once you have done that, and you also have the link of the HTML tag that I sent to you, Yes. You have to familiarize yourself with the different tags, then you are fine. Then the next thing that we are going to is to edit that one page website. Okay. Yes. So, okay. To so our own taste or to a specific uh, instructions. Of course, of course. I'm just going to you know go walk through the editing. Then everybody will work on it individually. Okay, sir. All right, sir. I'm just going to do a walk through. I'm going to do a walkthrough after this discussion. Uh, let me just say this. Um, if this uh, link caught up this class, um, the current session calls up, just use the same link to reconnect again. Then we can have the editing of the of the one page website. That's all. Yes, all right. sir. Yes, sir. Please. I have a question, please. Um, go ahead, go ahead. Please on Apple. Um, I I don't know. How do I unzip the template? Uh, you can go to the Apple store 